Hey LearnDash fans, uh, this video is going to show you how I've connected LearnDash with Easy Digital Downloads or EDD. I've gotten quite a few questions since I've launched um, LDX Training on how I set everything up. Um, this is not going to show you everything that I've done because um, I have done, I've used a lot of different extensions and done a lot of other little small things here and there to optimize the experience. Um, but this will give you um, probably 90 to 95 percent of what you need to really set up LearnDash and, and EDD. So here we are on the plugins page. Um, which plugins do you need? Obviously, you will need Easy Digital Downloads. And then there's a couple additional EDD um, extensions that I'm using. One is called Additional Shortcodes. I'll show you where that comes into play uh, in a few minutes. The other is Auto Register. Um, and I'll explain actually briefly what you, which each of these does. So Additional Shortcodes gives us a couple of shortcodes that we can use to detect whether a user is logged in or logged out. Um, so that's very helpful. Uh, in a couple of spots with the My Account setup, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. The auto register um, does exactly what it says it does. It will just create a WP user account um, at checkout. So when somebody, they'll have entered their email address already um, on checkout, and this automatically logs them in and creates an account. Uh, so that's super helpful as well. And it uses their email address um, as the username as well, which I kind of like too because I don't like having a separate username. It's kind of nice to just be able to put in your email address. So the auto register um, is needed and then downloads as services. Um, this is another one that's just a little helpful because EDD was designed to sell digital, uh, actual digital files, but since a course isn't a file and it's not really a download, um, this will just remove some language in a few places that we don't. Um, that we don't need it and it will just confuse a user. So this is helpful as well. Um, custom prices, I am not going to go super in-depth into that, but this is what I'm using to basically allow um, the user to put in whatever price they want to pay for the course. Um, I put in a suggested amount and then they can put in uh, whatever they want. Um, I am using the Stripe payment gateway along with PayPal. So EDD comes with PayPal built in. But if you want to use Stripe, you do need this uh, extra extension. Um, and you do have to pay for one of the EDD uh, extension packs on their website in order to get access to the Stripe payment gateway. So this is not free. Um, this does require uh, payment with the, with the EDD extension pack. Um, those are all the EDD pieces that we need. And then obviously we need LearnDash. And the other big one is the LearnDash LMS EDD integration. This is what will allow us to connect the um, EDD download product to the LearnDash course. So I believe those are the only components we need. Um, obviously, we are going to need to make sure we have a LearnDash course created. So in this example, I'll be using the Getting Started with LearnDash, the, the one and only course that we've got so far. Um, and then um, with our, on, ED, on the EDD side, just note, um, this will normally say downloads and all downloads, but I um, used a little code snippet to change all of the download language to products just because it makes a lot more sense um, for what I'm doing. A, a course to me is a, is a product that I'm selling. It's not a download. So just one thing to note there is that all of the, the products you see on here actually sh means download. So here we are, and this lists out um, the EDD downloads I've created so far. So again, here's our getting started with LearnDash. So let's open this up and I will show you the important components to connect EDD um, with LearnDash. So here we go over on the right hand side there's a few meta boxes and the important ones uh, we want to check this um, the product is a service so this will help get rid of that language that we don't want on there. Um, the other important one is button options we want to disable the automatic output of the purchase button. This uh, by default this purchase button will just be inserted at the very bottom of the page. Um, if you're using an EDD compatible theme, then it can be designed really well, but if you're not, then it'll just be inserted kind of willy-nilly there at the bottom and not look very good. Um, I'm using Elementor to design this page, and so I'm actually going to use this purchase shortcode, which they give you the link for right here, and I'm going to use this somewhere in my Elementor design, and that will actually be what people can click that adds this um, EDD download product to the cart and sends them to checkout. So we want to disable the automatic output of the button. And what we want to do is use this purchase shortcode instead. The other really important thing is there's this LearnDash section. We want to check the box to say, yes, it's a LearnDash course. And then in here, we can type and, um, and find that product. And so I've got the, the one product there listed. Um, so we want to add our course here um, into this box. And that will connect this EDD product with 
the Learn Dash course. So those are the big things there. The, um, the price options, mine will look a little bit different than yours if you're not using this custom pricing extension from EDD. You'll just have um, a single price option that you would put in right here. Because I'm using the custom pricing, I've got some additional setup stuff here. But you can read the EDD documentation on um, different variable pricing that you can do, as well as just set a one-time, lifetime, single payment price as well, which is the easiest option there. The, another cool thing that we're doing here is under product notes, this works very similar to how WooCommerce works. You can put a link here to the course page. So where this link will show up is in two important places. One is on the, very, the receipt page that they get as soon as their payment is processed and they get that receipt page. This will show up and so it gives them a way right from that receipt page to go and start the course and go right to that course page. Um, this will also show up in the receipt email that they receive that EDD sends out. So it's, it's good to put a link here right to the course page so that they can get started um, nice and quick and easy that way. Um, and that's really um, all we need. In terms of the design, I'll show you where I put the, that uh, product link short code. So if I just open this up with Elementor. Now I've got a few other little tricky things that I'm doing here going on um, that I'm not going to cover in this video. but. Um, I will show you, I basically just created this little pricing table, and then down here is where you'll see this um, purchase link shortcode. So all you'll really need is that purchase link um, part right there. You don't need to worry about sort of this other stuff I have going on. Um, I'll get into that in another video. I'll go into more detail. But for right now, all you'll need is wherever you want um, the, the purchase button to be. So when they click it, it adds it to the cart and redirects them to checkout, is you'll use that purchase link shortcode, um, which I've got right here. And you can place that anywhere you want on any different kind of, any, anywhere within Elementor that you want. Um, so that is most of the setup. And then the final thing that I will go through with you is the My Account and Login stuff. I know that's a, a pretty tricky thing. There's so many different ways to handle logging in um, with LearnDash um, and WordPress in general. So the way I've decided to handle it is really let EDD power, um, power all of it. Um, the way I'm doing that is I will show you my, um, my account page. So I'm really using the My Account page as both a My Account as well as a login. So anytime that the user is not logged in, I link them to this My Account page, and this is going to serve as their login page. Um, I've given a nice and simple URL of just slash account. And then what I've done here is that additional shortcodes extension that EDD has, it allows us to use this shortcode called EDD is user logged in, as well as an EDD is user logged out. So it gives us these additional shortcodes. And what this is doing is it's saying, um, if the user is logged in, we're going to show them the EDD profile editor, which essentially is just a form that has their email address, their first and last name. They can update their password as well. Um, and they can do all of that in the profile editor form. So if they're logged in, that's what they'll see on the My Account page. If they are logged out, what we're going to do is use another EDD shortcode called EDD Login, and this just puts a login form for their username or email address and then their password. Um, and one of the cool things with the EDD Login shortcode is that we have this option to choose which page we want to redirect somebody to. So all I'm doing here is redirecting them to the exact same page that they're already on. So they're on the My Account page. If they're logged out, they'll get a login form and they're going to be redirected right back to this account page. Then they will be logged in, so they'll see the profile editor. Um, so I'm essentially doing the same thing on the My Courses page, which I'll touch on here quickly as well. Um, so let's look at My Courses real quick. Um, so if somebody tries to access the My Courses page and they are logged out, they're going to, again, see the EDD login form and I'm going to redirect them back to the same exact My Courses page, account slash courses. That's exactly where they're going to be redirected. Um, so really, the user can log in from multiple different pages. They can log in from the My Courses page. They could also log in from the My Account page. I am funneling everybody to the My Account page. Um, if they're logged out, that's where they go and log in. Um, but if somebody were to try to access the My Courses page and they're logged out, they can also just log in with a form right on that page. And then with my courses, what I'm doing is this is an uncanny Learn Dash toolkit uh, module called the Resume button. And then this right here is the Learn Dash um, LD profile um, block. Now these don't need to be wrapped in any kind of shortcode to check if the user's logged in. 
because these two blocks are smart enough to know if the user's logged in and if they have any courses or not. So that's why I didn't wrap either of these two in the, um, in the EDD shortcodes because they're smart enough on their own to only display to people that are logged in. They'll just not be on the page if someone's logged out. Um, and then the, 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 LD, the Learn Dash Profile block here, one couple things I'll note is I'm just not displaying any of the, the profile header information, so that's this option right here. The only thing I'm doing is expanding all of them so that you don't have to click Expand All or open each one up um, one at a time. They'll just by default be opened up. Um, I just prefer that from a style standpoint and a usability standpoint. But I'm, I'm hiding that profile header information, so all the only thing that shows up is the listing of that user's courses. So on this My Courses page, they'll have a resume button, which will jump them right back to the, the last lesson that they were looking at um, before they went away from the site or logged out. And then they'll see a listing of their courses with the progress bar that shows up as well. So I hope that's helpful. Really, it's, it's not that difficult, really, to, to connect these two together. Um, and I love the simplicity of EDD. It's got a ton of extra extensions and a ton of options. I know a lot of people um, were, were really interested in how I did the custom pricing. Um, I'm sure that there's WooCommerce extensions that do that too, but um, I found EDDs to be really easy um, to set up, and it's supported by EDD themselves. It's not a third-party extension. You do have to pay EDD um, for their one of their license packages, and it's not, it's not cheap, but they will support it themselves because they've developed it, which is really nice. So. Hope that helps you guys out um, with connecting LearnDash and Easy Digital Downloads. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you in the next video.